Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've just um, received my Wax Wicked Plants order. Um, I don't even remember how many plants I ordered and I don't remember exactly what varieties I ordered. Um, I ordered this a few days ago, maybe three or four days ago. Um, and it was dispatched yesterday and it came today, so that's really good. And I'm gonna straight away get into opening it because I can, can't really talk about what I ordered. The only, the one thing I remember that I ordered is the um, Venus flytrap werewolf, which I've been wanting for such a long time. And it came up on there and I was thinking, cause I've bought from Wax before and his, I bought quite a few um, Venus flytraps from him last year and they all came in really good quality. So I just thought I'd go for it and buy it from him because I know his quality is really good. Um, so other than that, that's the only plant I can remember. So I'm going to get this box open and we're going to see, I may have to finish this video like um, another day or start it like this. But when I, cause obviously all the plants are going to be in their winter dormancy, I'll show pictures of what they're going to look like, what they should look like. And I'll show you obviously what they do look like. Um, what else? Yeah. Right. Let's get on and open these up. Right, so this is going to be the best angle we're going to get at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it. It's going to be a really quick unboxing because it's quite late at night. Um, and I'm going to get these open. Right. It seems to be in the winter I get more interested in carnivorous plants. And I don't really know. Well, not more interested, but I buy more of them in the winter compared to in the summer. And I don't know why that is, but I think it's because a lot of sellers, people, a lot of people sell their carnivorous plants in the winter. Oh, I guess it's probably because that's when they divide them, right? I mean, I can keep guessing, but... <laughs> Oops, that was a bit deep. <laughs> Just trying not to cut anything. Um, right, here we go. Let's get into it. Um, from memory, I think I bought about five plants, but it may be just three. I Honestly, I think I bought... like The number five is sticking in my head, but I really don't know. Let me have a look at this invoice. Actually, no, I won't look at that because I don't want to ruin because it's going to be like a surprise to me also. So let's get rid of that. Ooh. Oh, packaging looks really good. Damn. Okay, yeah, it looks like four. Wicked, right. Oh, right, I'm going to go for this one first because this is the one I'm most excited about. The packaging looks really good. Very well packaged. Um, okay, I'll save this all this bubble wrap and I'm going to reuse this. Right, I'm going to plot this to one side. Oops. And I'll open one thing at a time. What's that? Cup of happiness. True that. If it's got a kind of plant in it, it's very happy <laughs> to me. Right, let's get into it. Um, it's, right, they've all come potted by the looks of it as well. And considering this has a cup over it, meaning it's protecting something, leads me to believe that maybe it's not fully, fully in dormancy, which is nice. We actually have something to look at. Um, yeah, so Wax makes his own um, labels, which are really cool. They, I mean, they look really nice, very recognisable as well. So, um, these are really well wrapped. So let's try and speed this up without cutting myself. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. That looks really good, right? Um, it's really small but you can see that there are a lot of traps in there and that's a good thing because it's not just one, it doesn't look like it's just one spindly little like plant. It looks like there's gonna be multiple growing points, which is excellent, really, really good. Um, oh, how much did I pay for this? Oh, let me check the invoice. If it has prices, it does not. Uh, I'll put the price on screen, how much I paid for this. In my opinion, this wasn't a bad price. Um, the werewolf is generally an expensive cultivar, um, and when you do find them, they are usually really small specimens. Let's try and get this open without damaging. Uh, right, I don't want to break anything. Oh, there we go. Right, so it's got loads of peat all over it. But I'm glad these come potted because I don't actually have... I've run out of peat. I've got no peat at the moment. So um, I need to try, try to get some. Right, let me brush this off and we'll have a closer look. Oh. oh, it looks so nice. Right. 
Can you see the teeth on that and how just unique that is? That is amazing. I think this has... Because I really, really like the Jaws Smiley. And I like the Green Wizard and the Color Call. I've got the Color Call and I've got the Green Wizard. Which, what was the other one I just said? I don't remember. But this, the Werewolf, was like my number one in my mind. And I'm absolutely still... Uh, was it Green Wizard? What, what was the other one I said? Oh, Joel Smiley. Yeah, but I think Green Wizard was probably my second favourite. And I reckon this now is my top favourite. Look at that. And in the summer, that's going to grow amazing. And yeah, it looks like there are multiple growing points. So that should, in the summer, create a really nice, healthy plant. So that is wicked. I'm really, really happy about that. Yes. I'm so happy to have that in my collection. Oh, wicked. Just one last little look. You can really see. I'll put um, an adult, a picture of the adults on here as well. Because the teeth just grow so unique. And I love it a lot. Wicked. Right. Number two. Let's go on to number two. Um, I did just remember what the second one was. Um, so I'll go for that next. Now, this next one is a duplicate. In, in t uh, By that, I mean I already have this in my collection. Um, but because I love it so much, I bought a second one. And it is the Green Wizard. <laughs> the Green Wizard has really unique teeth. Not similar to that, but really, like, different. So, um, if you guys have seen the Green Wizard on my channel before, you'll know what it looks like. But the teeth, instead of, like, following the direction of the actual tr like trap part the teeth go inwards um and they are amazing they're so nice it's very similar to the colloquial but i think the colloquial is rarer Oops. um also the price would indicate oh i don't know how much i paid for these i can't remember they weren't cheap but they weren't expensive and i was in the a spending mood so i i don't know why but i thought like that was 15 quid it probably wasn't yeah, maybe it was actually. It was something around that. And then the Green Wizard was maybe like 10.99, between 10.99 and 15 pounds. Um, but yeah, I do already have a Green Wizard and the one I've got at the moment is a really small specimen. I'm cutting towards me, it's not a good idea. Um, but I'm not worried about that because I just want to have it in my collection. So I don't know, like, I don't really mind about the size of the plant I've got, it's just, the fact that I've got it in my collection is what I find really exciting. Oh, nice. That's bigger than my one. Wicked. Right. I'll just show you a close-up of the teeth so that you can understand what I was talking about. Right. Oh, let's get closer. So you see how the teeth actually go inwards? Wow. Oh, I love that so much. And as the name suggests, this one stays green. Oh, wow. God. I love that so much. Right. Let's try to get this open without damaging. Packaged them really nicely. Like the soil, obviously, there's a tiny bit of spillage, but like that is no problem to me. These are packaged really good. Um, I'm hoping, hoping that it is flowering age, like mature enough to flower. Um, not because I'm necessarily going to try to collect seed, but because it will mean it's a nice mature plant and it will potentially um, send some offshoots out this year and be big enough to like divide by next winter. This tape is so sticky. Right, let's get that over there. Right, so just another quick look. Oh, I love that so much. I think for people that aren't into um, fly traps or carnivorous plants, this probably is not really that interesting. But to me, that is just the teeth, like the structure of the teeth is so cool. Wicked. Yeah, you can see there's like some really young bits in here. So it looks like there's going to be multiple growing points. Whereas on my one that I currently have, um, there's only one growing point. Uh, the one I got, my other one I got off of um, eBay. I bought it from some seller who um, just kind of grows them, I think, as a hobby, whereas uh, Wax grows them. As far as I'm aware, grows them as like a full-time occupation. I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know him personally. Right. Anyway, <laughs> that's really irrelevant. Um, let's get the box back over. So we now just have um, 
you can't really can't see it. I've just got two Saracenias in here. So if I just grab them out, and they're both potted, which is really good because I don't have any peat. And there we go, the last one there. Ooh, nice. Right, and that is the entirety. Yep, so I can get rid of the box. Right, uh, I do not remember what these even look like, um, to be completely honest, because I'm going to need to remind myself. Right, so I've just had a quick look at the images um, on the website and they look bloody lovely. So I'll include the images from the website when I'm opening each one because I, I do see some pictures here, but I don't know how well they're going to really be showing um, the colour, etc. because obviously winter. But I'm excited about these two now because I really, like went out on these i spent quite a lot of money in well for me um ah, i just cut myself no we're all good the benefits of having a blunt blade <laughs> and a little girly scream <laughs> right uh i'm gonna assume these quite young plants i just bought the nine centimeter plants you can buy them in nine centimeter or 12 centimeter maybe i don't know there's two options i think yeah there are and I've just went for the smaller ones, um, purely because they are cheaper. And like I said before, I'm not worried about, right, um, I'm not worried about them taking a long time to grow. I'm just happy about having them in my collection. So this is Saracenia Pseudo Judy Cross Leucophila. And this one from the images looks very similar. It's got a similar hood to a minor, which is why I went for it. And it's got the color, like the colors are just incredible. The colors of Leucophila, where it's got the white, a lot of white going through it and a lot of veins. Um, so this one I'm really excited about. Uh, how do I get into this thing? Let's put the knife down. I'm excited to see what sort of size rhizome this has. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to see under the soil, but I don't know if this is... Oh. I'm so hot right now. Um, Well, like I said, it's late at nine. It's literally 10 past, <laughs> 11 minutes past nine. <laughs> That's late for me. All right. Um, there we go. Come on. Right, okay. Oh, it looks like there actually is some colour on this guy. So that's... Oh, yes. This is exciting. Try not to break any of the pictures. Oh, wow. Try not to break. Right. I'll show you what I can see so far. Uh, let's put that on there. So, so far I can just see that really nice. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Again, these are packaged really nicely. Oh God, that is so pretty. Right, come on. Oh, wow. Nice. Right, so this one. Try and get a close up. Look how pretty that is. I don't have, I don't think I have, well, do I? I don't think I have any Leucophila crosses in my collection, unless the Linda Bart. Is that a Leucophila cross? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, Linda's Bart. Wow, look at that. So the Pseudo Judy cross Leucophila. And it looks like it's a really nice size rhizome. Multiple, well, there's multiple growing points. Um, so that's really cool. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to leave that just there. Right. Now, the last one is... Oh, it's all together I paid... I spent... I spent... I think it was, what, £50 or £51? That did include £6 postage. So that gives you a gauge of how much... Oh, I thought there was a spider. Um, of how much I spent on the plants. But I'll include the prices over the top of each one when I open them. So Saracenia Hybrid Wolf. Uh, Wilkerson's White Knight, Cross Wilkerson's Red, aka Wildfire. So if you just type in Saracenia Wildfire, it is the first picture that comes up. Um, there aren't, I didn't find too many pictures of this variety. Oh, that's, um, and as far as I'm aware, this is quite a young specimen. I think these, I think he grew them from seed. I, well, yeah, it's a cross, so he probably did. Um, so I'm assuming they're going to be quite young specimens is what I'm saying. I'm probably going to pop these up. Once I get some pee up, I'll pop them all up into square pots, like larger square pots so they can fit nicer with my like square pot theme. Um, just the square pots always fit nicer together, closer together. So
So if you've got like a large collection, go for square pots rather than like round. Unless you pr personally prefer round, then don't you let me don't let me tell you what to do. <laughs> right, let's try not to snap that one picture in the middle. Okay. Oh, here we go. Gently, gently, gently. I don't know how much colour this one's going to have at the moment. Ooh. Looks like it's got enough colour. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So, um, this one does grow really large, but obviously it's a very young one. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we've got a couple of um, growing points in here too. So, if you can see, we've got the growing point just here. And then we've got a growing point here. So this is this point here is where this trap is coming up from. And you can just see, obviously this is it's like the middle of winter. You can just see the colours ever so slightly. I'll include a picture of um, the listing as well. So you can get a better idea of what colours and what this will mature to look like. Right, so I'm going to take this plastic off. This, this tape is like the stickiest tape I've ever felt. And I'm sounding super dramatic. I'm so dramatic. Um, there we go. It's like wax intake. Not that I've ever used wax intake, but I am, would imagine that's what wax intake feels like. <laughs> Not to be weird. <laughs> um, right. Wicked. So it's a really small, like it looks really small and inconspicuous right now, but in the summer, trust me, this one's going to look awesome. Let's get that in there. I'm really excited about this one, but I have to say, I think this is my favourite, but that's because I love the minor hood, <clears throat> or oh, I love hooded Saracenias, well, I mean, I guess they're all hooded, but, like, I love the curved hood, you know what I'm trying to say, but I feel like that smells weird, <laughs> yeah, it does smell weird, maybe it's the tape, <laughs> anyway, um, yep, yeah, so that one's really cool, let's get the tape off this one as well, so that we've Got them all. Wicked. These are really nice. Right, okay. There we go. So that is all of... Right, so that is all of my um, carnivorous plants from Wax. Um, I'm really, really happy. Like, I, I knew they were going to be good, and they are really good. So, um, like I said, I've bought from Wax before, and his quality, as you can see here, is really good. Um, sent really nicely, no damage, nothing. Like, even the pictures were all intact. And considering I was assuming they'd be cut right down to, like, down because it's winter. But I'm really happy with that, and I'm, like, ecstatic about this one. Let's take another close-up look. That is incredible. So I'm really excited to get these growing. And okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. Right, so I'm like sweating after that, but that is really good. They are all looking really good. I'll show you another quick look. So that is the Saracenia Hybrid, Wilkerson's White Knight cross Wilkerson's Red, aka Wildfire. So it's really small at the moment, but what's that, like six inches? But it's going to put on a lot of growth this summer, and I'm really excited about that. Um, then we've got this little guy which the coloration on this is beautiful i'm really excited about um the leucophila colors coming down there so um saracenia pseudo judy cross leucophila that's really nice and there's not many pictures on the internet of these guys so i'm really excited to see what they're going to look like then we have the green wizard which is one of my all-time favorites um is it going to focus no but that's a really good size and i'm actually surprised at how not dormant this is because <laughs> some of my saracenias nope some of my dionia muscipula have died right down to the soil level so there's like some of them have like one or two traps and some of them are just not there anymore like where they're just dormant um so to see that that's really cool i don't know if he keeps them i'm gonna assume he keeps them in a glass house um but i have no idea but that may be why they're not like fully fully dormant i know a lot of the time they don't go fully dormant they just kind of have a tighter growth habit um, but I'm really excited that they have some nice growth on there. And I'm excited for this one the most, I think. 
yeah definitely so in a couple of years time they do grow oh i don't know that i'd say they grow slow but they grow like they don't grow fast um but i reckon this one's gonna have a lot of good growth this year and potentially in the winter i'll be able to um, divide it next winter obviously so that's really good i'm well excited about that one right so that concludes my order from wax wicked plants um I'm sure you probably have heard of him, but if you haven't, I'll probably leave the link in the description. Um, at the moment, he's like pretty much sold out of the majority of stuff because I think everywhere is at the moment. Um, that's just how it be at the moment. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my new plants. And I'm glad they like, I'm glad there's actually something to show because I was contemplating actually doing this as a video or not. Um, but I'm really happy that I did and they look wicked. So I'm really excited about that. Hey, they look wicked and, you know, wicked. No, okay. <laughs> So definitely let me know what you guys think and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and, or a like, sorry, thumbs up, like, um, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite was and if you've got any questions about kind of response or if you want to tell me how your day was, go for it and tell me down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you and thank you all for commenting. I really like enjoy hearing from you guys and I enjoy talking to you as well. So yeah. I'll leave it there, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.